Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice CCL Playoffs, whatever you want to call it. Round of 16 replay between replay watch of <laughs> a large thud versus Dimmy G. Dimmy G finally qualified for the playoffs. Wonderful to see. My favourite person and <laughs> he's just good, isn't he? Dimmy, everyone loves Dimmy. Round of 64. Did I say round of 16? I meant to say round of 64. I am stuck under the bench! Round of 64. Um, yeah. So what Dimmy has to do, he has to basically stay where he is, right? And, and stop this area so that the elves can't intersect him here. Because he's got, you know, he doesn't want... The elves aren't that fast. Okay, the catches are pretty fast. But most of the elves aren't that fast. So, so this is like the danger area that he needs to occupy. He doesn't need to push forward. <laughs> um. So yeah, he's, he's completed the cage. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, yeah. Oh, except he doesn't want a GFI. So I guess he... Maybe these could have all been one square back, but hey, that, that's okay, isn't it, right? That's that's pretty decent. I hate this, though. Okay, so he could foul. Um, so he, Dimmy was down TV. He's got a bribe and a wizard. Um, but I think that was a terrible foul. Because he had to he had to reinforce here, didn't he? He had to, he had to like, keep this layered. This screen. Either here or here or somewhere around. But there you go. Anyway, you can see from the teams the <laughs> the Proils have got four guard, and Dimmy's got three. He's literally out guarded by elves, which uh, you know feels bad, doesn't it? That's got to feel bad when you're out guarded by elves. Obviously, he's got more strength, and like I guess that was the dirty player. It's rough that his two dirty players have both got blocking guards that actually his best skeletons. He doesn't really want to foul with them that much. Ugh. See, but see what difference this guy would have made if he was here. If this guy had stayed there where he was. There would have been three less problems on this side of the field. So I guess he got a 2D him and hope for a pal. This Garda could have gone in there. And then he could have 3D. Oh, no, he shouldn't have hit this one. No, I think I think you uh, you either blitz this guy and go like it's a hard spot, but I think you just try and power him first, maybe on three D, and then uh, yeah. See, so like if that's if this guard had been there, then he gets the three D now, doesn't he? It doesn't even hit him. Wow. Well, now he's fucked, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> now he's just instantly lost. <laughs> Interesting strategy. Poor old Timmy. Um, yeah, I think... Like, it sucked that he was sidestepping. He's going to sidestep onto the ball if he didn't power him. So maybe you do make, put in the guard there, make it 3D, hit him, and then blitz this guy and then go up here or whatever. But he was under all that. He was in such a bad situation because, so really, Dimmy was like talking about whether he should have blitzed with wrestle or, or tackle. And actually, what he should have done was not made that foul, and then he wouldn't have had these three guys on this side as well. That was uh, how he got in to such a rotten spot. Now it's looking like conceding and uninstalling is the best choice. Bolt there is just desperation. He's got a real bad chance of loads of 
loads of bad scatters. Um, and there is one of them. So yeah, I didn't like... If you're going to wizard, maybe it's just fireball. So you can get more... Like, because it's terrible. Like, you probably just... You know, just... You're probably just content with going in one mil down you know, and a half and don't and use the wizard to turn him over, just try and kill players or whatever. Looked like he tried to make it 3D and then didn't. Both down on all balls. Oh dear. Well, he's got the one in 36 here and he'll be alright. He needs to move these three characters here. A large thud. Let's move these around there first before rolling any dice. He just could have double won that. He's got to. He's got to finally move these three guys in to do something. Maybe he's not going to. <laughs> like, cause you're not going to GFI with him in the bloody snow. So just move them down. Oh, run away. That seems pointless. Move them down and then they can support next turn. Or they can run away next turn like it. These are the players he wants to hit anyway, aren't they? That's what I think. Hello, Tony. Hello, real red hair. This is uh, this is Dimmy's first and maybe only ever game in Chalice. <laughs> but hey, he qualified. He finally qualified. He's been wanting to qualify for ages, and he finally did it. So good for Dimmy. I don't want to. I don't want to shit on him. <laughs> He's a lovely fella. Maybe Hancock. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Gonna do a few replays tomorrow as well. Um, just coincidentally with the uh, Total Warhammer, of course. Completely coincidentally. <laughs> Not a scumbag. Maybe a bit of a scumbag. <laughs> right, you go for the six plus dodge in here, don't you? Six plus two D with mighty blow. Let's fucking go. Do the right thing, Dimmy. No. Don't bother then. Gets the knockdown. Gets a Kaz. So it's, it's certainly worked. But like, it's worked to an extent. Of course, he's still going to concede the touchdown. At least if he dodged in on the 6, right? There's 30% with a reroll. If you do it, you've got 2 dice. Which is 30% to get him down. You might have got in without the reroll. If you get in, you might power him. And then you might save the drive. So I think just whack in with the mighty blow. Like, obviously put enough so that he's got to score next turn anyway. Like, this is excessive. Um, put in enough that he's got to score next turn and then just go for the 6 plus dodge. Because although it's shit, um, it's got a chance. Or is that had no chance? <laughs> Hello, Chugs. Chug Armand Milk. Still chug man milk in the JFW. <laughs> You'll be glad to know. <laughs> uh, dear. 
So yeah, pretty brutal, yeah. And in our hearts, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So now Dimmy's got to try a two turn in the snow with Camry. Easy. Easiest touchdown of his life. He's got blitzed on. Not that easy. This might actually give him a better chance, to be honest. I mean, apart from the blitzer getting banged out. But this blitzer is going to be in range. With a single GFI. Scar, wasn't it? Any of these three would have been fine, just dodge away, pick it up, hand off, score. Now it's looking like he could go in 2 0 down. Oh dear. The Lodge Thud's still got two more turns, so you've really just got to defend and hope you don't go 2 0 down now. Got to completely go up in the score. Unless you're Rick Reckless. Unless you're Rick Reckless, you completely give up on the score here. Did he just hit forward? Could he have freed up a Tomb Guardian here? Maybe. If he could have freed up a Tomb Guardian, he definitely should have done. That seems a terrible blitz. Because <laughs> he hasn't got tackle, why not just blitz with this guy? And then if you power him, you dodge. And then, uh, pick up. Now you just fucked yourself with that sidestep. Yeah, that was that was a horrible blitz from Timmy. Timmy! Yeah, he fucked it there. He absolutely... Like, you could have blocked with that guy first. Just to clear the tackle zone and move someone back or whatever. Like, double GFI that guy back instead of blitzing with him. But instead, just gave him the ball. Oh dear, oh dear. And surely could have freed one of these up. Which might have done something. But I mean, it was it was a, it was a ridiculously hard match. To be fair, like you know, so much guard, wizard, basically wasted. Um, but you know, it wouldn't be that good anyway against elves. Bribe, not very good. Hello, yak. Hello, Oriel. Ha! <laughs> Oh, Steve, Monty. Gonna see a foul now, surely. Probably should have been with a rookie who could get sent off. If there was a rookie. What's this? Can I hear something here? Hello, hello, hello. I've come popping in to say hello. Oh, hello, PC. How are you? This good morning. Ah, uh, wonderful, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. I've had bacon. Oh, wonderful. now I might stay with you for a little bit if you don't mind. Oh, of course not. Uh, wonderful to have you here, PC. I might be popping in and out like a robin feeding its young, which is <laughs> happening in our back garden. Oh, um, this game. Oof, I don't know if you're screen sharing, so I'm uh, up to date. I am. Excellent. Well, I shall come and watch that. This game. I mean, it's it, it's a wonderful thing. Let's celebrate the positive. Yeah. Uh, which is, is that it happened. That Dimmy G achieved his goal of playing in the chalice, which is nice for him. <laughs> he failed the GFI in the cast. Okay, regen. <laughs> um, 
but unfortunately it was over on turn one which just happened to be turn two because of the riot but he didn't take fitting notice of firstly play facing pro elves who were always going to come straight for his ball instantly uh, secondly it being in the snow limiting his mobility more than theirs um, and then thirdly he did he overhit he pushed too far forwards rather than every effort should have been at, at making sure the ball was recovered and defended on turn one yeah and then when the pro elves came for him he was too out of position his he tried to hit back I and mean, he did the right things to try and get back into shape but he was already too out of shape yeah. and lost his ball and from there it was all uphill in the snow against a fast agile team without anything to hit them with. so it, it was tough and yeah Already at halftime, it looks fully over, doesn't it? I think yeah. that's not a spoiler at this point. Yeah, it is definitely over. Uh, yeah, he, he burnied it a bit, didn't he? <laughs> well, look, I mean, it, it was a game that was so tough to find a way into, let alone through to the win. Um, yeah. But yeah, that first turn was simply horrible. Um, but, you know, that's the chalice nerves out the way. That's the hurrah I've got there out the way. Um, next time, hopefully, if Dimi gets a team in, it'll be a little more capable looking, and he'll um, he'll not have those chalice nerves, which uh, one hears so much about. <laughs> yes. And perhaps, yeah. I mean, that first term was was just terrible, wasn't it? But you know, these things happen. We we all coach terrible turns. Yes. Do you not think you should have put two Toomies on the LOS? Steve Motti, I've already had bacon this week, and I have a, a real one bacon uh, rule. So what I did is I, I I had the bacon without sandwich today. So we just had plain bacon, me and my partner. Uh, but yes, I am I am bacon fueled. Uh, do I think you should have put two 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 guardians on the line? Um, yes, I still think you've got to try and get some hits in because that's the route through to winning, isn't it? Um, but I think other than that. I'd have hit the three on the line. I would probably have blitzed off the third one to retreat. And no, 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 no. I mean, I mean this drive. I mean this. Drive. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because, no. no. like you know, he's put his blitz ras. You know, should I he have controlled that line of scrimmage a bit more? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, the answer to how you solve this is not to be here in the first place, isn't it? Yes. But at this point, yeah, you probably need to. I mean, I might have three Tomb Guardians up on the line. Um, yeah. No, because you want two to lock down the edges, don't you? Yeah, that's what I was But thinking. perhaps two on the edge, one in the middle, um, and make them, you know, if they want to come hitting, let them try and get into a battle. I suppose that's a possible route. Mm -hmm. um, create a soft centre with just one on the line of scrimmage right in the central point, and then the two Tomb Guardians on the edges of the seven lines. So that he's tempted to try and push through the middle where you can try and, you know, hope to squeeze him or get a fail. <laughs> I think that's how I would approach this. But I mean, to be 2 0 down and them have the ball in the snow against Pro Elves with them having a full team. Yeah. I mean, Jim, don't don't be there. That's the answer to that question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is this is pretty much pretty much done. All he can do is try and uh try and Leave make a pass and, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, there you absolutely. go, he just did. There we go, he does. Oh, Apple so let's celebrate through. the up, because it's it's so easy to get negative about this. You know, as I said, other than other, I think other than the first turn, I'm not sure what Dimmy could have done. Some of the lines he picked were okay, um, but a large thud totally outcoached him. Yeah. Um, knew what he had, used it well, did the job. However, here, of course, where is the withdrawn offense? So beloved of uh, your modern elf coach, exactly. Because why? Why is he attacking now? He's already had a death. He's two nil up. He doesn't even need to score. Yeah. Um, so at this point, this is this is fun for the game, but it's it's negative chalice equity, isn't it, Jim? It absolutely is. Yeah, he had won, right, and uh, he could have been doing passes in his backfield. Uh, yeah, skilling the right elf. Yeah. He could even throw the ball to the Kemri and just go and hide in a corner. Yeah. Watch, watch whilst they drive forwards for four turns and slowly, laboriously score. Yeah. I mean, th there are so many nice options here. <laughs> this lineman who just died on 16 SPP could have made seven completions this half. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow, well, look, he's just double wand, and now Dimmy's got two dice on the ball. Yep. Wow. That's only a badly hurt, but it's uh, it's one less elf on the field. Why are we taking all of these risks? 
if ever there is a time for super, super conservative play, it is right now. And I, I don't think there's ever a time for super, super conservatives, but in Blood Bowl, <laughs> sadly, there is. Unbelievable. We have Teresa Villiers as our MP. She is literally more vile than other people. <laughs> that is what her name tells you, and yet for some reason they voted back in. <laughs> um, Chug, yeah, I mean, it's if you're in the ladder, great, you take advantage of this poor Kemri coach struggling in the snow and you get some SPP and you make some nice touchdowns. <laughs> but you're in the chalice with a pretty thin pro-elf team that's got a godlike first round draw. So you win it and you keep everything alive. And sadly, this is a time where you sit in your backfield vanity passing and going, ha ha ha, can't touch me, I'm elves. Yeah. And we're not doing that, and consequently we're putting good elves at risk. We've already lost a trash elf, but we've lost it. We've now lost the ball, creating, uh, I mean, a modicum of mild interest in what happens in the next few turns. <laughs> I wouldn't put it a lot higher than that. No, oh look, too, elves then. make mistake. Oh look, elf solves it with a series of twos. <laughs> I mean, you know... We, we've all seen this before. Yeah. That's the problem. I mean, it is often the problem with elves, is when they make a mistake or they make a fail, you need them to repeat it. It needs to be doubled. Oh, Ori, I was hugely rooting for Dimmy, but I'm, I'm a realist. Um, I was rooting for Dimmy when I was playing him, and yet I did everything I could to stop him qualifying. Because he qualified with a game where he beat me in his first ever game against me. He did really well. I mean, he got godlike dice in that game, but I didn't do anything soft. But I, you know, little part of me was really chuffed that he'd got there, mm -hmm. and I am chuffed for him. Yeah, me too. But um, but you know, he he didn't have a great plan for this game because he was in a very negative headspace about it, and that's fine. And he's had a couple of weeks where he's been drifting a bit, and now he's. I think it's great for Dimmy. He's um, he's in the BBSL, which will be great for him. A real stern task. You know, despite the changes, there's still some really solid coaches in there. There's no, there's no fat. Mm. Tempted to make a Mr. Page joke and say there's less, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not because I love Mr. Page and he's a very strong coach and much maligned when his skills are actually pretty decent. I mean, he's a solid 65 percenter. That's a very, very good blood bowl coach, and the equal of the likes of calcium and things in my mind, or pretty near anyway. Um, no, I think the lineup's really good. I'm, I'm sad not to be in it. I hope to be back for season three if invited, but I need to clear my calendar of it. Ooh! Yeah, of course you'll be invited, PC. Well, I take nothing for granted, Jim. You know me. <laughs> so, I mean, we've, we've done well here. We're putting lots of pressure on. Like I said, Dimmy's coaching fine, isn't he? I thought the first turn was horrific. Uh, but then, the you know, it just it was a... It, a terrible misreading of the game state. Yeah. Um, but his choices since then have all been good. He's putting loads of pressure on. Um, he's he's taking the spread play because the elves always want to lengthen a field. Um, whereas a control team, you want it at worst side to side, but best in a in a big huddle. Um, he's accepting that it's gone long, and he's still putting the pressure on. He's trying to cover all the field. But it's you know he's he's emptying the, the Titanic. With uh, with a tea cup. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he hasn't even brought a knife to a gunfight. He's bought a plastic spoon. <laughs> Could do a lot of damage with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Can he reach there with double GFI? Yeah. In the snow after a yeah. dodge. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. This is looking great. He hasn't even tried. Oh, you've got to try, Dimmy. Yeah. I mean, at, at this point, look, he hasn't got the time to score twice as Kemri. So at this point, it really is officially over. Um, but he, you know, he went down fighting. Ish. <laughs> Ish. I mean, that he, he should have double GFI'd and then dodged GFI, hit, powered. Ball scatters in this way. Um, in fact, maybe he's just doing a 1D, right? 1D, pow. Like yeah, because he probably needs to score there. this turn, doesn't he? But yeah. the sidestep means it's not going to bounce out. Yeah, so sidestep there. This guy then goes and picks it up. 
lobs it to this one, who catches it, <laughs> GFI's in, boom, you're 2-1 down, you've got four turns to go for the win. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, Jim, you're absolutely not. That should be tried. Hmm. Because if that's a 0.01%, it's better than this, which is, uh, I want to hurt you. But, yeah. you know. Well, he did hurt him. It is an elf, and we all want to hurt them. <laughs> And that one's dead. So do you remember when we said, and that was, yeah, I'm sent off for doing that. Do you remember when we said that uh, perhaps sort of full-blooded attacking and trying to get the 3-0 wasn't that brilliant a plan? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I large there is a time and a place for a Dakar, and this was it. And now we finally run an elf into the corner, away from all of the aggressive-looking, <laughs> well, not aggressive-looking, but cross Emery, Kemry. Um... <laughs> Too little, too late. And he gets the bow. Yes, he does. And the armor break. And the cars. <laughs> and the injury. Oh, but unfortunately, it's only a badly hurt. But that blitz is not coming back. All right, get him in a scoring range, Timmy. Yes. <laughs> There's a chance. Next turn. To pass it to him or whatever, then hand it off and then score without a reroll. Easy. Easy, oh, easy. We've got two. Shouldn't have fouled because this guy's the one who should be getting passed to, isn't he? Yes, but I mean, again, we are talking about 0.01s, but you're not wrong. You know, the, while there is a chance, you should go for that chance. And if you watch a, you know, a K Vogue, an Andy Davo, a Jimmy Fantastic, a Crucifer, you know, the real contenders, their their head doesn't drop. Oh, <laughs> uh, unless they break a mouse and turn the stream off. But I mean, usually, you know, they will keep trying the one percent. <laughs> the TG doesn't make it better though, does it? Because the TG would be a five plus instead of a four plus, so like... Yeah. Nice foul animation. He's even in range now. Oh. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so that happened. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> <laughs> there were some things that happened using the rules of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yep. Hello, Mellow Gold. Well, that was a... That was a shame, but, you know. At least he qualified. Better than what most people have done, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You can take nothing away from Dimmy that he hasn't taken away from himself. <laughs> Including his chalice run. <laughs> oh dear. But no, no, it was a tough matchup, and yeah, he, it really was. He bollocked up the first turn a bit, and the second turn a bit, like yeah, it's, it's yeah. Just is what it is, isn't it? And then he used the whiz on a lost cause. Yeah, yeah. Like if you use the whiz there, then at least fireball right and hold for three knockdowns. Yeah. Because yeah. then, then you've got a twelve and a half percent chance of great success, <laughs> <laughs> instead of an eighty-three percent chance of like nothing really. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was ble a bleak situation, and it was a desperation bolt that was never going to do anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, at that point, I would have saved it, hoped for a change in weather, and given me some chance of maybe turning them over in the second half. Just tried to pressure the the score. Yeah. And not be 2 0 down at the half. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. and that's easily said when you've got yeah. a completely crap, unresponsive Kemri team. That's much, much harder to do than say. Yeah, like, to be fair, the 2 0 was almost unavoidable, right? When, once he was 1 0 down yeah. and then he got blitzed on with trying to 2 turner, he had the people yeah. on the line. And, yeah. And yeah, I mean, the blitz was terrible, but the, that doesn't take away from, as you say, the first turn being terrible, the second turn being not great. 
there was a re-roll he really had to take to, to secure the position and he didn't. Uh, the whiz, which was, you know, the wrong time and the wrong place and seemed in anger. And then he didn't look for those little 1%s, but he did find some good lines before that. He did try, and he got there. Hooray. Hooray for getting there. Yeah. Well done, Dimmy. Oh, shit, I forgot to put PC's picture on, but never mind. <laughs> right, well, thank And you the large card goes into round two. I mean, let's not overlook, uh, you know, a tricky... A tricky matchup for him. Uh, a matchup for him that hard to prepare for. You know, you're so expected to win. Everyone expects you to win. You know, it really. It's only if you lose that it creates any noise at all. Um, so a professional job. Except he lost a blitzer. He didn't need to. Yeah. Apart from that. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.